Hey guys, in this video we will make this responsive navigation menu using Tailwind CSS and two lines of JavaScript code. I already created one Tailwind CSS navigation video in our channel but this video better than that. You are absolute beginner in Tailwind CSS, please watch this video. This video very helpful for you. Before starting this video, please subscribe my channel Kodiya Pora. You can see, this is my empty HTML file. Open the browser and search Tailwind CSS. Go to installation. And click play CDN. You can see, this is the quickest way to make Tailwind CSS codes. Paste here. Okay. Format. I'm using VS Code Live Server. You can see we will remove this. Allow it. Remove this text. And uh, I'm using Google Fonts. So I will go to browser and search Google Fonts. Open this link and uh, search Poppins. Select the fonts. Copy this given code. Paste into our HTML file. After adding this code, let's come to body tag. Right class and give the font poppins. This font family not inbuilt in Debian CSS. So I am customized to give the font family. So I am using this square bracket. Next time, give the BG gradient to top. This code give the linear gradient color. From will be this color. To will be this color code. height screen so the body tag take the full light of the web browser you can see the linear color showing on next we add the header tag and inside add one nav tag give the class nether bg white Next we will add some classes in navtag. Before we will create one div and write image tag, give the source. This is my image source link and just add three dots in part attribute. You can see the image is too bigger. We can modify the width and height. So we will go to right class width 60. You can see the image size is modified. Next we will add one more div.
create one UL tag inside this div tag. UL tag inside create one LA tag. This LA tag contains only a tag. Copy paste few more times. I will modify every A tag text. You can see the links are showing our navbar. Close the div and create one more div. This div contain one button. Give the text sign in. You can see the sign in button. We can style this button. Give the class PG this color code text to white PXX this means padding x axis 5 another one PY2 this will be padding y axis in 2 border radius rounded full whenever we can over the button we can change the color so power pg is color code if i over this button the background color is changed open this div tag add some styles in your tag flex item center this means display flex Align item center. We can give the cap for view both. So each item contains some cap. Come back our Visual Studio code. Select all anchor tag using Ctrl D. Give the class name. Hover text will be gray finder. So whenever over this link tag the color will be changed next we will align these three items in one line so i am using display flex item center justify between with 92 percentage So this nav tag takes 92 percentage of this width. If I give the background color red, you can see easily. Adding margin auto, it will be align center. Remove this background color. You can see. You can see we will finish the desktop view. Next we can do mobile view. Currently our navbar not responsive in mobile view. So we will do this. Make this browser and Visual Studio side by side. So we can easily see the code and the browser. First time choose this to tag. Give the Last name absolute you can see and make this flex direction in empty screen flex row in smaller screen flex direction will be column give the class name bg white and give the mean height 16 vh Left 0, top 9 percentage, width will be full, so it will be take full width, flex and item center, give some padding in x axis. Next, next we can modify the links align into start so item center before give the md so 
this item center only appear in empty screen you can see all links are aligned properly next we will change the gap in mobile view in mobile view give the gap it the gap is increased this looks perfect but you can change it to desktop view you can see the alignment are not properly and the navbar right are so too big give the tip tag in empty screen position will be static smaller screen absolute after give the empty screen height fit only give the background color black you can see the menu link takes extra width in our browser so we want to empty screen with auto with auto you can see the alignment is properly and mobile view also good change the top position in nav link minus 100 percentage so it will be hidden you can see after we will need one icon so search ionic icons click the link search menu icon click the usage tab copy the script tag paste it in our html file next copy this example icon paste it here you can see it will be showing on so we can replace this icon menu so change the name menu you can see the menu icon showing on change it to text close we can get the close icon nice add some styles this to tag display flicks item center so the button and the menu icon align properly center gap 6 and give the class in icon text tree excel cursor pointer so the menu icon it will be clickable okay we only see this menu icon in mobile view only so we can remove this md hidden so md screen it will be hidden smaller screen it will be show next add the script tag in the bottom of the body and give the on click in the icon on click whenever click the icon the on toggle menu function called so create the on toggle menu function give the event argument in this function console the event
open the developer tool inspect you can see if i click the button the on toggle menu function it will be called you can see this is my event element console log the element name you can see menu element name close click the icon you can see the icon is changed but again click the close icon not get menu icon so how we can do that write the e dot name equal to equal to menu we will get the close icon else we will get the menu icon you can see the icon is toggled next whenever click the button we can show the menu so i will give the div tag class name navlings after copy this const navlings equal to document dot query selector paste it navlings write navlink dot class list dot toggle give the class name top nine percentage this class is toggle whenever click the button how it will be work because we will already added one top minus under percentage class whenever click the button top nine percentage class added in nav links this top nine percentage class override the top minus under percentage class add some duration in the nav link you can see we will finally finish the navigation video okay guys thanks for watching